Yo guys, what is going on? It's MMXVI, aka 2017, aka Walmart John Wick. You already know what it is. <laughs> Okay. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about how to get on official Spotify playlists for those of you who don't know I was recently put on to fresh finds and fresh finds hip-hop Which I believe my song is still on fresh finds hip-hop most of my songs are ending up in the discover weekly algorithm currently So I think I have a spot where I can discuss what I did and how to increase your chances But before we get into today's video I want to let you guys know that starting today every week Thursday 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm gonna be going live on this YouTube channel So drop a subscription right now. I'm gonna be listening to your music live completely free There will be a five dollar skip the line option if you want to guarantee that you get played that live stream And of course you get played ahead of everyone else put that shit in your calendars your alarms your fucking notes Whatever you got to do to remember it make sure it's up here here here, wherever it's gotta be, I want you guys in there. The only rule is that you have to be in chat before I play your song. I'm gonna call out each artist name. I wanna see it here in chat because I'm not gonna just take 100 free submissions, play them to zero viewers, you know what I mean? So you better be there to listen to your song, be ready, be watching, put some stuff in the chat, enjoy interacting with the community of followers that I've got right now. And yeah, I think it's gonna be a good time. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. The first tip that I have is to always post three weeks in advance. Now, I want to get in depth with this, but it kind of goes hand in hand and makes more sense when you know point number two, which is to always drop on Friday. So if you're dropping at least three weeks in advance to the latest Friday that you possibly can, that'll make your odds so much greater. On most distribution services, such as like TuneCore and DistroKid, they always have like a little box saying, Submit two weeks in advance uh, to increase your chances of getting onto official Spotify playlists or whatever. And I was submitting like two weeks in advance, two weeks in advance, two weeks in advance. I never ended up getting on playlists. And the very first time that I did three weeks in advance, I think it almost might have been four, but I know that the minimum three weeks made the odds totally turn in my favor, which was amazing. And that's what landed my song Amends on Fresh Finds and Fresh Finds Hip Hop. So that's something I always recommend to people because I don't know if it's just because their algorithm like discard songs that are gonna be released within less than two weeks or whatever or maybe there's just so many submissions that Spotify curators can't get to all of them by the time they're released if you release a song in a week from now and they can't get to it before it's released it won't even be considered for playlisting so even if you're like oh I'm gonna defy the odds and put this song out now it won't get on any official Spotify playlist I mean unless you're huge obviously then you can just pay to be on fucking Hip Hop Central or whatever. But for most people, you really gotta put it out at least three weeks in advance. And again, always post on Fridays. It makes the most sense to post on Friday because it increases your chances of getting on like the release radar, which if people are following you, you will be on their release radar. But sometimes consumers aren't following a bunch of artists. So it'll throw in other underrated artists similar to the Discover Weekly, or it'll throw in songs that are from artists that you've heard before, but maybe a song that you haven't listened to yet I've had it where a few songs like from Jack Harlow that I've already listened to before have just popped in there because there hasn't been enough songs released from people that I follow in that week so your odds of getting on there on a Friday once the release radar playlist updates is much more likely when you actually drop on the Friday. The third tip that I have is to pitch your song as early as possible. If you guys haven't been logging into artist.spotify.com and submitting your songs that you upload for playlisting, then none of these tips are gonna do anything for you. You need to do this. And this is partially why you have to post three weeks in advance because it takes a few days to get into your artist profile in order for you to pitch it. So maybe when they say upload at least two weeks early they mean give them two weeks to listen to it because it takes about three to four days for it to even appear in my artist profile to pitch anyway so be sure to be going on to artist.spotify.com every few days checking to see if your songs there because I know I've gotten a few emails that just get sent to those weird other tabs that are not my primary and it's like your song has been added and I'm like I don't even check this fucking tab make sure you're checking every single day and when you go to pitch your song put in as much detail as you can re-listen to the beat that you bought and hear the instruments and click all the instruments that you can hear within it. And I guess for those who don't know how to pitch a song to the official Spotify curators, I'm just gonna give you a quick little tutorial on how to do that right now. Okay, once you're here at artist.spotify.com, you're logged in, you're gonna go to music, then you're gonna go to upcoming, and your song should be right here, and it should say pitch this song right next to the release. This will be here if you upload a single or an album. So you're just gonna click on that and then it's just gonna do a quick little 
multiple choice questionnaire and then at the very end you can fill in like a little bio for it if you want but make sure that you're putting as much detail as you can don't be too picky don't be like oh like it, it could be a little string from this and that it doesn't really matter that much but as long as you're pitching using every single category as much as possible if you want to know i don't put a bio for any of my songs at the very end and i'm pretty sure it says optional anyway so you can just leave that blank but all the other things answer those as accurately as you can but yeah that's pretty much it very simple if you actually want to get on official spotify playlist you have to do this like there's no way unless you're just massive that you're going to get put on one of these playlists without pitching the song that leads into my next point which is to drop more singles than albums okay every Every time you upload a single, you will be able to pitch the song to official Spotify playlists. So say your first song misses, whatever, you got the next single, then you got the next one and the next one. And say two of your songs get fucking playlisted on multiple playlists. Even if you upload 10 singles, you've submitted 10 times, which is amazing because if you upload an album, you can only submit one song from that album, which I mean, it makes sense. So you can't just pitch 10 to fucking 30 songs all at once but if you're not big already if you don't already have an audience that's looking for a big full-length project i would suggest uploading single after single after single because people will listen to a song on repeat for you know multiple weeks at a time if they really enjoy it multiple months then every time you drop a single you've got something refreshing for your fans to listen to and you can re-pitch it it's pretty much a win-win every way but yeah take my suggestion upload more singles until you start to get some really good traction and then maybe consider doing an album. At the end of the day, you can always put these singles into an album afterwards. So it's, you can never lose really. And the last tip that I have is to pay for other playlist placements. Now, a lot of you guys know that I use Pleasant Life promo. I work with them. You guys can reach out to them yourselves. If you don't want to use them, all up to you. All you got to do is go on Spotify, search up certain playlists like hip hop or rap or certain songs. And there's playlists with thousands of followers. Just see if they have an email or an Instagram or something, somewhere you can message them in the bio of the playlist, reach out to them, ask how much it would take for a placement. Most placements are gonna be directly into the playlist for two weeks at the bottom of the list until obviously you get bumped up by other people underneath you. Sometimes they have different prices for one week placements only. They have different prices for putting you in the number one spot on the playlist. None of these prices are fully set in stone, so negotiate, try to get their costs down a little bit. Maybe if they're charging 40, see if they'll do 30. Maybe if 40 is for one playlist, see if they'll do it for two. Usually if somebody has one big playlist, they have multiple, so go onto their profile, see what their public playlists are looking like and yeah that's pretty much all my tips that i have i hope these really do help you guys get on these playlists the more music that you drop the more consistent you are the more likely you are to get put into the algorithm for discover weekly there is no real way to make sure that you get onto discover weekly it's kind of just being consistent and having constant viewership doing one thing is not going to specifically like push spotify to put you right on this playlist it's just going to happen over time and you'll eventually end up in the algorithm from what i've noticed from the first time that I got onto Discover Weekly. Every time that I pitched a song after that, that song has gone into the Discover Weekly algorithm. Doesn't mean it's been promoted through the algorithm as much as some other songs. Like they're gonna vary depending on the people that are listening, seeing if people are saving the song more than others, that type of thing. Again, it's all algorithm, so it's just doing a bunch of calculations on numbers. But to get your song into there once means that you can get into it again. So just keep pushing, keep pitching your songs, upload them three weeks in advance, Put them out on Friday and pay for some other playlists. I guarantee this is going to increase your luck. Anyways, guys, hope this video did help. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Anyways, it's been your boy MMXBI, AK2017, and I'm out. Peace.